What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Brian Nima. So today we are doing a figure review with the man with the fist, One Punch Man Saitama by Ben Presto, Bandai Spirits. If you're ready, let's go. So here is Saitama outside the box. Um, this is the metallic version. Uh, there is our original, uh, original color version of this. I think this is version 2. Uh, I wasn't able to get the original version um, at the time, uh, so yeah, it sold out. And then it's pretty expensive uh, if you try to purchase it now. So maybe in the future down the line, if I get one, I'll review it as well. Probably be a quick review because it's, it's the same exact figure, just a different paint job. Um, but I'm still happy with it. There's not that many One Punch Man figures here in U.S., that I've seen um, that you can purchase for retail, especially in the comic book shops. This is where I got mine. Um, so yeah, this was actually $30 if I remember correctly when I purchased it. And I think you can buy it on Amazon. I'll put the links down uh, on this video where you can purchase it if it's still available. Um, so let's check this out. As um, the cape looks really nice, it's pearlescent. Uh, I do have scuffs on mine. And from my experience, pearlescent uh, paint normally scuffs pretty easily. Um, but yeah, the po the basically the dynamic of the cape looks really good. It's supposed to be blowing on the wind, right? Uh, once we put it together, you'll see what I mean. Um, the buttons are really well painted. So yeah, the cape looks really dynamic, really cool. It's really nice. Um, same as the body. The body is fully metallic except for the boots itself it has a little shiny gloss to it but the whole uh jumpsuit yes it's uh fully metallic um it has a zipper right there everything the holes for the for the cape the buckle the back yeah the scope the scope works really great i mean band presto uh bandai spirits does a really good job um this is actually their dfx line this is actually one of my first figures from the dfx line that i've um that i've, I've reviewed here it looks really nice. And as always, Ben Presto with their head sculpt, they never miss. Uh, as of right now, as I've been reviewing any Ben Presto figures, uh, especially all their lines, I've tried, I think I've tried various lines so, so far, and their head sculpts are always great. Um, Saitama's head sculpt looks like Saitama from the, when he's serious. Um, I do want to get a uh, Saitama, especially when he's like, you know what I mean, the other version of Saitama. There's two, like, two versions of Saitama, but this is the serious version of Saitama. Um, so, yeah. So, let's put him together. I'm going to put the cape first. As always, put the holes where it belongs. Uh, so, this might take a little stretch a little bit. Yeah. There you go. As you can see, the cape is lifting up, so as that dynamic pose, basically the cape is flowing, he basically pushed the cape up when the wind, acting all hardcore, you know? And then we put the head. Uh, yeah, there he is, all together. Uh, as you can tell, he is back heavy, so it does come with a stand. Um, I do not like stands, but unfortunately there is no way to make this man stand without one. And so they give us a stand. Um, thankfully it's not that big. It's a circular stand. Looks really nice. It's clear, not all black. And it comes with this, uh, stand for the cape. So it'll hold up the cape. Um, you just put it on the hole. And then, yeah, you basically put his two feet feet uh, yeah this way so the cape will be standing on the thing I'll show it to you once we put it in the back on the on the what's it called display stand um no we're taking stand the height of this figure the measurements with the top of the cape it's roughly around eight and a half inches almost nine inches uh with the cape width it's about almost five inches. So that's the size of the figure when you're displaying him. Just keep that in mind. It is quite wide, uh, but still, it's still really nice. Um, for details from one to 10, I do give it, for me, I do give it an eight. 
Uh, I'm not really fond of the metallic, but maybe that's the reason why. But the detail, actually, you know what? I, I'll give it a... Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll give it a... Yeah, I'll give it a 9. 9 is probably the best. Um, I think it's just because there's not that much shading for me. I wish because the boots would probably be a little bit shaded. But I think the paint application is really well done. Um... Yeah, I might I might keep on changing the rating program on this on every time I review, but overall, I think to me, the look and everything and the dynamic, I give it a solid nine. Um, there, uh, the reason why I don't give it a ten, I think, it's just because of me, maybe because it's just metallic. Uh, if it was original one, I probably would give it a ten, uh, because it's metallic and it's not really true to color for the anime. I'll give it. A nine, but is it a good figure? Yes. Overall, it's still a good figure, and if you don't really get much One Punch Man figures, I highly recommend you purchase it. So let's check out Saitama one last time in the rotating base. Um, and yeah, oh, I forgot to ask the question. Um, who is your favorite character in One Punch Man? Are you a Saitama fan, Genosia Matt fan, or who's your favorite character in the anime? Um, so yeah. Let's look, out, let's look at uh, Saitama one last time in the rotating stack. Hopefully this video helped you decide if you want to purchase this One Punch Man figure. Um, for me, I recommend you do. Uh, especially if you're in the US, we don't get that much. So if you find one, get it. Um, I just want to also say sorry, but sorry about the rating scale. I will work on that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what how to rate these things. I'm sort of learning as I go. Uh, but for everyone that watches my videos, I want to say thank you so much. And also the new subscribers that subscribe to my videos, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please leave a like, subscribe, and share. That way you can see the next video drawing. For now, thank you and goodbye.